Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a first impression on some products from Maybelline. So if you want to see how they work out for me, then just keep on watching. These are the foundations that I'll be using. So this first one is from the Fit Me line, and this one is the Matte and Poreless, and this is 330 Toffee Caramel. And then I'll be using one from the Dream Velvet line, and this one is in Coconut. When using these foundations, a little bit goes a long way. So I just like to put some on the back of my hand and then just mix it up. And then I pretty much just like to use it in areas that just need to be a little bit concealed. I don't like full, full coverage on my entire face. So I just use it in areas like I mentioned that I either had a pimple or just are a little bit darker. So that's how I use the product. And I really like the finish. It gives you a really nice matte finish and it doesn't make your face oily and just works really good. Next, I'll be using the Skin Transforming Powder and I'll be using it in Coconut and Ivory. I'll just take a, another brush and then I'll just blend everything out. Then for contouring, I'll be using the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Dark. And I actually originally used this as a face powder, but it actually was a bit dark for me. So I'm just going to be using this to add a little bit more color to my face and just to define my cheekbones a bit. And so far it's working really good for that. Do that on the other side as well. I really like how this worked out for contouring. It definitely gave me more of a softer and subtle look. It looks more on the natural side. And then and next, I'm going to move on to eyes. So I'll be using the Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. And with this, I find that it does dry pretty quickly. So you wanna make sure that you blend that out. And it definitely does a good job at keeping your eyeshadow in place. I'll be using the City Mini Palette in Downtown Sunrise to create a neutral smoky eye. And with the shades available, there's a mix of matte and shimmer eyeshadows. And these colors are very easy to blend and there's good pigmentation. And with this palette, it's great for travel and on the go. And there are three other palettes available from this collection. Next, I'll be using the Last Sensational Curvitude Mascara. The wand is curved and the bristles are small. And I'm using it in Black is Black. I like the results that this mascara gave me. It did a good job at fanning out my lashes. I did notice that I wasn't able to build it up too much because then I would start to get more of a chunkier look. So if you're going for a more natural look, I would definitely recommend trying this out. And I really like how it fanned out my lashes. For lip color, I'll be using two from the Vivid Hot Lacquer Collection. And I'll be using Unreal and Retro. Using Unreal by itself was a little bit light for me, but paired with Retro just made a really nice shade. And I found with the formula, it's very creamy and very moisturizing and it's not sticky at all. And something that may not bother you, but for me personally, I don't like when lip products have a strong taste. Even if it's something sweet, that's not what I really like. I really like when something doesn't really have a taste at all. And with these, they don't have a taste. So if that's something that bothers you, then you'll definitely want to try these out. And they also have really nice colors in this line as well. Lastly, I'll be using the Master Curl Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold. What I like about this highlighter is that it's giving me very buildable coverage. If you want more of a subtle look, you can definitely go for that. And if you want it to be a little bit more dramatic, you can definitely go for that look as well. I prefer to go for more of a sun-kissed look, but I'm really liking how the results are coming out. It's a really nice, um, I would say nice golden look. and. It's just a really nice highlight color. Oh 
overall, I'm really liking how these products work out for me and I would definitely recommend them. So if you want any more information, just check the description box below and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.